Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. And we're on episode number two of Biker Talk. I uh, appreciate all your comments uh, coming in. So um, much appreciated for that. Um, yeah, I was, I was uh, more than happy with what we had coming in there. Question wise, some great questions. And uh, what I'll do, I'll set a timer. I'm going to put the pen down because I'm going to keep clicking it otherwise. Uh, I'll set a timer for 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, we don't want to run on for too long, but hopefully get through the questions that we have. So timer on now and uh yeah we'll start with question number one so let me just load them up on here and question number one is from loving life mallorca and uh yeah he says hi mate question i've got i've got an open uh, helmet open face helmet and would love to make videos of rides i i've got a gopro microphone etc how did you put it on your open helmet and the mic where does that sit with oh with having no front to the helmet um thanks mate happy new year if we can still say happy new year now but this was a while ago anyway so uh can you show via a video possibly well i'll show you now uh andrew uh, thanks for the question great question um yeah because normally when you have a, a full face helmet the microphone goes inside the helmet and uh yeah, so open face helmet, got one here. So basically you've got um, the, the sort of standard, well, tapered GoPro mount on the side there. But what you can do is in order to connect your GoPro to the helmet, you need one of these. So this is made up of three or four different linkages on here. So you can, you know, actually, you know, uh, mount the GoPro in, in the right position. So. I've already made, obviously, because I use this regular, I've already set this up into the right position here. So this is simply how you'd mount the GoPro to the helmet. Now, when you're on the bike, obviously, depending on what bike you're riding, you want to mount the GoPro, do, do some tests, find out, you know, what the best position is for, for you personally. You know, you don't want to be looking at too much of the road. You don't want to be looking at too much of the sky, but that takes a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of messing around with, but, so anyway, yeah, that's that's basically how you mount the GoPro on the helmet. Now with the microphone, the microphone would sit in inside my snood. So if you can imagine, I've got the, the GoPro on here, the snood here, I've got the snood here. So the snood would be around there and the microphone would be from the back of the GoPro underneath the snood. You can clip it into the snood if you like. I generally don't, don't do that as I find it a bit uncomfortable, but that's generally how I get audio through riding with an open face helmet and you know where i mount on the helmet um sometimes i mean it's very tricky sometimes to get good audio that's again you have to try trial and error on where you where you sort of you know mount the the microphone how close to your mouth you put it and so on so thanks for the question andrew uh, i hope that's answered your question and uh, yeah maybe one day at some point point i will do a video on that but yeah anyway that's that one so i'll stick the helmet back up there and uh, yeah thanks for the question Andrew next question is where are we next question is from uh, Dave Cornish at Dave Cornish 6716 hi Dave and he, he's asking again happy new year this was a few weeks ago <clears throat> Jake when are you letting me have a spin on the Spitfire <laughs> well, I, I, to, to be fair uh, great question Dave cheers for that and uh, well, I've known Dave for a lot of years I know his family and uh, yeah, I mean, Dave, by all means, you're more than welcome to have a go on the on my CCM Spitfire 6, not a problem at all. Um, I'll hopefully see you at the bike meet, which I generally attend the local bike meet uh, quite regular um, when I can. And uh, yeah, Dave, as long as you've got your, uh, your, your bike gear on, you're more than welcome to take it for a spin. So uh, I know it's late, but yeah, happy new year, Dave. And yeah. Uh, because I haven't spoke to, you, spoke to you since then. Um, yeah, thanks for the question, Dave. So, yeah, more than welcome. Um, but, yeah, as long as you're careful. And, uh, ah, maybe we can do some sort of deal and you let me have a ride on yours, on your lovely uh, Ducati. That could be in the, uh, in the picture. So, uh, thanks for that, Dave. Much appreciated. So, yeah, great question. Next question is from at Brennangoff2445. And Brennan is asking, what's been your best ride? Whoa, what are we talking about here? Um, right, okay, best ride. Well, that's a tricky one because 
I've rode a lot of bikes in the past and uh, t to be fair, they're all very, very good nowadays, motorcycles. They're all, it's very difficult to pick holes in a, in a lot of bikes I ride. Um, although I don't, you know, I try to give an honest uh, opinion on, on what I ride, but generally, yeah, I think the best, the best bike that I've rode, cool. Yeah, I'm going to say the Street Triple 765 RS, and hence the reason why I owned one, and why if you if you if you exist in this world, you know that I've just bought another one, um, the Moto 2 model. So hopefully have that soon. So stay tuned. Um, but yeah, I would I would say, yeah, yeah I mean the the, the Triumph Speed uh, Triple, seven uh, Speed Triple uh, RS was another another great uh, bike i mean i did con contemplate um potentially buying one of those but i think the all round you know the best best ride for me has been uh, the the 765 triumph street triple rs so um yeah that's that's yeah i've got my reasons for that um i just think that they're a great all round bike um, they they sort of cater for everything that i need should i want to go on the track you can take them on the track and um, they're, they're very well you know um catered for that and uh yeah I, I think i think to be to be fair i think um there's there's lots of other bikes out there which i i, I ride and i think cool yeah i could i could see myself owning one but i think all in all i think um the triumph 765 street triple rs is my 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 sort of favorite um at the minute anyway at the minute so uh thanks for the question there brennan and uh next question is oh it's brennan again so at Brennan Goff 2445. Hi Brennan, again. So, best 125cc, oh, yeah, that's tricky. Um, I, I like, uh, with the channel, I like to ride a variety of bikes. Not only do I ride, um, you know, large CC bikes and, you know, large adventure bikes, there's all sorts. Have a look on the channel. There's a, there's a, a massive playlist of all, all, all um, you know, all of the bikes that I, I currently have rode and reviewed on the channel, um, including my own. Um, but I would say the probably re the most recent would be the Monkey 125, the Honda Monkey 125. Now, if you haven't rode one, I'd suggest getting yourself to your local dealer and grabbing a test ride on one. They are absolutely, they'll, they'll, they'll make you smile. They'll put a massive smile on your face and they are an absolute blast to ride on the road. They're not the fastest of bikes, obviously, not the fastest, but they are generally the you know the um, the most the most fun you'll have on a on a on a one two five I would say, and they, and Honda they they have also now brought out the Dax D A X one two five so I like to have a ride on one of those eventually when when I can, um, it's very similar to the the Honda Monkey one two five, so thanks for your question again Brennan two four four five, and uh, yeah get yourself to the dealer um get you get your cvt done if you haven't done your cvt get yourself out there get yourself on one you'll love it yeah so uh thanks brennan for that uh next one is from at hayley john 17 hayley john 17 what's your favorite bike you've reviewed so these are all i mean these questions are all leading towards uh they're all very similar aren't they but again my favorite bike i've reviewed is the that's a tricky one, that one, because the favourite bike I've reviewed. Um, I think some videos that you, you 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 sort of review, some bikes you review, and you know you, you you'll make a video of it, you'll do a review of it, you'll take it out, you'll have good weather, you'll have ideal conditions, you know, and and some reviews and some riding conditions are better than others for for when you're out on on the bikes. But I think um, overall, I mean, I've had fun on small CC bikes, i.e. one two fives and uh two and a half litre triumph rocket three gts you know so there's a massive variety so as far as favorite goes yeah that's a tricky one don't really know what i can say that i think i think again you know a lot of the triumphs that they're, 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 i'm a bit of a triumph fanboy and uh yeah they make some cracking bikes and i think i would say uh, probably the speed triple rs the speed triple rs was uh well, one of the bikes i've been out and i've had the most fun on other than um you know the little 765 rs's 
you know they're great bikes as well but i think you know that yeah um yeah i think the speed triumph speed triple some uh speed triple rs so uh yeah thanks for that hayley at hayley john 17 much appreciate for your question there uh richard dally 29 hi richard how you doing um good plan oh my question is what got you into biking jake um right well this goes back to well when i was 16 you know and oh that's 10 minutes gone already okay so uh, no worries there we'll uh we'll we'll wrap it up soon um yeah i going back to when i was 16 and uh, you know you, you finally get on a little 50 cc and you get a little bit of freedom so you're able to go out and you know go out with your mates and have a right a good ride out and about and that and you know it's just that freedom of uh you know getting into bikes at a young age um you know the bikes were a lot different in uh, you know in them days so it would have been uh, the late 80s early 90s so you're looking at uh two-stroke bikes um you know great fun we used to have loads of fun on those bikes we used to take them off off road on farmers fields we shouldn't have really have done that sorry farmers but <laughs> <laughs> we did we used to have loads of fun we used to get you know <laughs> i used to get a bit concerned about coming home and finding the, uh, the police at waiting at the doorstep you know and getting a, a slap but sorry about that <laughs> but yeah that's uh you know it's how i originally got into biking and um you know then, then kind of moved up from the 50 ccs one of the 125 ccs had loads of fun on those um absolutely brilliant i completely completely sort of fell in love with motorcycling you know at an early age and uh, i just lo like the look of the bikes and you know and they've come they've completely evolved now and you know some of the bikes i could have you know sitting in my garage just looking at it as an ornament they're so you know, especially some of the, the the super bikes the sport bikes and you know i, I absolutely love that side of it and you know they're, they're just brilliant but i did have a little bit of a break and um i actually didn't do my full bike license till 2008 now 2008 yeah uh i'd quite a big break um you know of riding but um what i did do i did do the a2 license so it's restricted for two years um and i actually done that on the 125 cc two-stroke uh my little two-stroke 125 kmx 125 now that was kind of when i started getting back into the bikes again and um you know thoroughly enjoyed riding yeah decided to do my test done that i had the, the examiner following me in a car behind so you can imagine i'm i'm riding a a two-stroke motorcycle smoking him out and you know he probably couldn't see where where i actually was you know it's probably how i got my license but no i'm only joking but yeah um but yeah that's that's and then i, I then after the two years i was then able to ride you know larger capacity bikes and you know i've i've, I've i have if you if you're an existing scrub you'll know i've had i've had a uh, an array of bikes and uh you know that just seems to be growing all the while which you know it's quite exciting so um but yeah that 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 is how i generally got into motorcycles um so yeah i mean it's one of those things where, where you're just constantly um well me anyway i'm always out and about looking at new models and you know yeah you know i just love it love everything about it so anyway yeah this is episode number two of uh bike talk q a now i'd like to keep it going so you know throughout the month or even month and a half i'm not it's not something i'm necessarily going to run every single month i mean it'd be nice to but get the questions in comment below it'd be great to you know to answer questions like this um, when i can uh, it's a great opportunity as well to uh you know yeah, yeah to answer any any questions you have for anything really it doesn't even have to be bike related as long as it's not about your uh, your sti or anything like that no <laughs> joking so uh yeah remember uh, if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell be great to have you along um you'll get notified of all the latest uploads as they happen and uh yeah so uh yeah leave that comment below and uh, hopefully i'll see you on the next video take care so, oh also before i go um i have actually set up a facebook page the long it's been long long awaited actually so um ride reviews on facebook if you want to follow on there um i, I put live updates on there of you know what's coming and what's going on and uh yeah be great to have you along on there. So uh, take care. See you soon.